Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. I know it's really hard when you lost your phone, so today I'll teach you how to find your lost or stolen phone. Let's find your phone. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, my friend. Let's go. For Android users, this is the Apple's counterpart of Find My iPhone. This is Google's Find My Device. There are two ways how to use Find My Device. Either you download the app or go to the website address. To download the app, simply log into your account on another Android phone, open Google Play Store, and search and download for Find My Device. The file isn't too big, it's just 1.84 MB. You will see an app on your home screen called Find Device. If you just borrow the phone, you can simply use the browser version. Open any browser and go to android.com forward slash find. To be able to find your phone, your phone must be in the following conditions. To find, lock, or erase an Android phone, the phone must be turned on, must be signed into a Google account, must be connected to a mobile data or Wi-Fi, must be visible on Google Play, and have location turned on. For the app version, you need to sign into the account that you also use on your lost phone. In this way, this app can connect to that phone. There are three important information you can see on Find My Device. You will see all the phones registered on your account, and there are three information you can see. First is the battery life and how it is connected. The second information is the IMEI, if you need to call your provider and block it. And lastly, the location where you can find the phone, if you lost it in the park, parking lot, or someone else's house. If it's stolen, you would know the location of the person too. There are three options how to manage your lost or stolen phone. First option is play sound. It will ring your phone at full volume for 5 minutes, even if it's set to silent or vibrate. The second option is secure device. It locks your phone with your PIN, pattern, or password. If you don't have a lock, you can set one. To help someone return your phone to you, you can add a message or phone number to your lock screen. And lastly, erase device. It permanently deletes all data on your phone, but not on the SD card. After you erase, find my device won't work on this phone. All this information and option are also available on the browser version at android.com forward slash find. It's the same thing. Hopefully this will help you find your phone and good luck. And that's how you find your lost or stolen phone using Find My Device. If you have other methods, you can share in the comment below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.